All right, this question asks us to write a Python program that accepts an integer n and computes the value of n plus nn plus triple n. Hint, number one, formatting strings using modulus s um, in, this, in the following statements, and then uh, we gotta know the difference between concatenation and summation. So first, I'm gonna get an input from the user using this statement, enter an integer. Then I'm going to add int at the beginning, and then I'm going to store the whole thing in a uh, variable called a, and then I'm going to print this variable. So obviously, um, it gives us, so you see that you know, I entered 5, and it gave me back 5. Now, I'm going to define a variable called n, and this time I'm gonna use string formatting. Why? You will see it in a bit. I'm gonna open a parenthesis like this and then quotation mark. I say modulus s and then outside the quotation, I add another modulus and then this time I'm gonna use this variable a here. In this way, I'm able to format this object. So, now I'm going to print n and you will see it. All right, for instance, here we go, five. And you see that five. So the first one was a variable itself. And then the second one was the formatted one. Now you may, you may say that there is no difference between these two, but you're right for now. But when I'm going to use n n, as a new variable, now you will see how this string formatting helps us. So I'm gonna open a parentheses, quotation mark, modulus s, modulus s, and then outside, why? Because I'm gonna use, you know, nn, right? So double modulus. And then outside the quotation, I'm gonna use a modulus like what we did, you know, here. And then I'm gonna now add a comma a. Why? Because we have now two variables, basically n, n, and we say that we concatenated them. Now, um, these first modulus s is referenced here to a, the first a, and then the second one also to the second a. And here we print n, n. Here we go. So integer for instance 5 and then you see that it gives us 5 for the a itself and then 5 for n and then here we get 55 as we uh, as we were asked you know to do it so now i'm going to make another variable called triple n and i'm going to define it now guess what we have the same concept you saw it on the first and second, uh, basically n and double n. And now I'm going to use the same concept, modulus s. So now we need three modulus s and then outside the quotation mark modulus and then open parentheses a. And this time I'm going to use three a's because now we have three n's. So we're gonna print this here and you see that oh it's too much enter an integer and you see that 5 5 55 and 555 we're not done yet we just concatenated these n variables together but the question asks us uh, basic computes the value of n plus n n plus triple n means that's uh, some of the three variables. So to do this, I'm gonna say print n plus double n plus triple n. And then I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna print it. So we give them five. And you see that uh, it gives us a basically concatenated form. 
it didn't give us the the summation result we need to add them up right to do this I'm gonna use int function in this way I'm gonna put so I have two ways to do this one is to put int right before each one of these variables or I can simply you know add uh, int right before you know each variable here up here so let's do this again so five and now here we go so the first one was a the second one n and then 55 is n n and then triple n is 555 and then finally 615 is the summation result and this is all about this tutorial thanks for watching